Have you heard of progressive web apps? And you maybe you're trying to figure out what a progressive web app is? Well, that's what we're gonna answer here in this video. Hey guys, Chris Love, owner of Love to Dev, and we are very excited about progressive web apps, and hopefully you are too. But even if you haven't heard of progressive web apps or you've heard of them and you don't know what that really means, I'm going to tell you today and give you a good introduction uh, into what progressive web apps are. Now, let me summarize it with a quote of Alex Russell. Alex is the guy who created the term progressive web app, and he's one of the great proponents at Google trying to build the infrastructure um, so that we can build these great user experiences. But I like the way he said it. He said that these are just websites that took the right vitamins and they progressively become apps. And what that really means is that you add some superpower features to your website that unlock all kinds of brand new user experience features. These user experience features are going to enable you to engage with your customers at a much deeper level and at a much lower cost. And I'll explain a little bit about that as this video goes along. Now, there's three key factors that you need to understand about progressive web apps. First, they are fast. You need to build your website so it's fast. And this is just a fundamental principle that Love to Dev has been passionate about for about a decade, building high-performance websites. And we know how to architect those sites to make them go fast. Next, they need to be reliable. One of the problems that the web has suffered from is a perception that it's not reliable. And a big part of that comes from the ability to work offline in a very manageable fashion. And not necessarily even when it's just offline, but also when you've got that, that phone that's got connectivity indicated, but you're not really connected. That's known as, as Li-Fi. And we can make your websites work whether you're online, offline, or in that purgatory of Li-Fi. Next, they need to be engaging. They need to have that deep user experience engagement feature. And some of that comes down to being on the user's home screen or being able to light up things like push notifications and, and other features that have been a little difficult in the past. Now, to do this, to unlock all these great features, you need to make three technical enhancements to the typical website. First, you need to be HTTPS. That stands for Hypertext Transport Secure. That means you need an SSL or a TLS certificate installed on your web server. Next, you need to have a web manifest file for your website. A web manifest file is a simple, what we call JSON or JavaScript object notation file that has some properties in it that describe your website to the browser and the platform. Things like your site name, your theme or colors, and a list of icons so that it, when it adds your icon to the home page, it knows exactly the best icon to choose. You can also do things like designate a special URL for, that, for the user to automatically launch when they do tap that home screen, or that icon on their home screen to launch your experience. Finally, you gotta have a service worker. Now this is a big technical thing and it's a brand new feature that browsers are rapidly rolling out right now. But what it does is it unlocks a lot of features that in the past were not very easy to implement or at all able to implement. And that's because a service worker loads with your website, but it runs on a background thread, which is different than the UI. Now that may be confusing to some of you, but just know that the stuff that you work, that you interact with on the screen and the service worker stuff are totally separate processes, which means they don't interfere with each other. However, because the service worker is tied to your website and your domain, it can do some magical stuff in the background that enhances that actual experience that you have in the browser. And it can work when the website's not even loaded, which is extremely exciting. One of the key features that that unlocks is the ability to do push notifications. That's right, it can do push notifications just like native applications. And so this unlocks a whole new avenue for you and your brand managers to connect with your potential customers. On top of that, your 
your DevOps team can take advantage of that technology as well to seamlessly upgrade and update your application in the background without ever interfering with your actual customer. These are just some of the examples of great user experience enhancements that progressive web apps are going to unlock for you. Now, you may be asking, well, what do I got to do to get started? Well, obviously, the first thing is to get an SSL key. Then you got to add that web manifest file. And then, of course, you got to add the service worker. And you may be feeling a little overwhelmed about that. Well, Love to Dev has some services and even an online course available to help you and or your developers understand how to implement progressive web apps correctly and with efficiency. So if you're interested in unlocking some of our services, just hit the contact button on our site and connect with us, and we'd love to talk to you about that. If you've got a developer or a developer team that you want to get uh, upgraded on their progressive web app skills, then sign them up for our course. It's available here at the link below. And we look forward to hearing from you and hearing what you plan to do with progressive web apps. And so you can join the future